Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming from the Digital Studio of Market Club. And the first quarter of 2022 was the worst first quarter since the first quarter of 2020. And that's what I wanna show you on this chart we're looking at. We're actually on a quarterly chart. One of the features that I do love about Market Club is that we have these longer term charts that you can take a look at to really give you a sense of the overall trend. And as you can see with the S&P 500, it was down 4.95% for the first quarter of 2022. And we have to go back all the way to the first quarter of 2020 where it was down uh, 20 percent in that first quarter which obviously we know was because of the pandemic but look at that long climb we've had and we're just coming into some rough patches here in the first quarter of 2022 and take a look we'll also bounce around we'll take a look at the dow jones you can see finished down 4.57 percent for the quarter was down uh, 23 percent in that first quarter of 2020 but the big loss this year was the nasdaq as you can see it was down a little over nine percent that first quarter as tech was hit hard with the sell-off as you can see back in 2020 down 14.1 uh, percent so we may have even though it seems rough lately we have made some gains higher so we have to keep that in mind we'll back this down we'll go back to a weekly chart get back to our time frames here and we'll back it out to the S&P 500. And we'll kind of clean this up, make it a little easier to see. As you can see, was able to finish just barely in positive territory, marking three straight gains for the three weeks of gains for the S&P 500, with a chart analysis score plus 55, indicating that overall we're still in a sidelines position for the S&P 500. Key level to watch be 4,161 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a uh, long-term downtrend for the S&P 500. Take a look at the U.S. dollar on the week down about two-tenths of a percent trading at 98.56 with a chart analysis score plus 70 indicating that overall we're still in a long-term uptrend. We're just coming under some recent pressure. Uh, key level moves down a little bit to 97.72. Move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a uh, sidelines position for the U.S. dollar. Dow Jones was unable to stretch its uh, weekly winning streak to three, so it will end at two as it's down about a tenth of a percent on the week with a chart analysis score plus 55, indicating that overall we're still in a sidelines position, trading at 34,818.27. Key level to watch would be 32,818.16. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long-term downtrend for the Dow. Moving along to the NASDAQ, it was able to stretch its uh, ex or extend its weekly winning streak to three, finishing on the week six tenths of a percent at 14,261.50, with a chart analysis score of plus 55, indicating that overall we are still in a sidelines position for the NASDAQ. Key level to watch should be 12,555.35, a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long-term downtrend for the nasdaq take a look at crude oil having a bad week down 11.62 percent trading back below 100 dollars at 99.52 cents a barrel with a chart analysis score of plus 55 indicating that overall the long-term trend is still up that's that short-term time frame is in a sidelines position key level to watch would be 107.80 a move above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle indicating a move back to a long position in the short-term time frame for crude oil. Gold trading at uh, 1,923.50, down 1 1.7% on the week, with a chart analysis score negative 55, indicating that overall we are in a sidelines position for gold based on a new red weekly trade triangle. Key level to watch would be 1,917. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move to a short-term short position for gold and we'll wrap it up as we usually do with bitcoin take a look uh, currently up about 3.6 percent on the day however it is up 3.48 percent on the week trading at 46,260 30 with a chart analysis score negative 55 so overall we're still in a sideline position for bitcoin kill to watch would be 37,567 51 a move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back to a long-term downtrend for Bitcoin. Every success, have a great weekend, and we'll be back next week with a market update.